Hello everybody, my name is Rick Murphy and today we're going to have a quick little introduction to scripting in MakeHuman using only the plugins that are in the GUI. We're not going to look at any code and you don't really even need to know anything about Python. Let's get started. So I'm using the nightly builds and under the utilities tab here there is uh, a few tools that are going to be useful for us. These are the data. There's a data tab here. And over here, there's scripting, execute, and shell. This is what we're going to be using. Okay, so the data tab has got um, information that about the uh, structure of data that's in there that we're going to browse through. We can see what the values of things are and maybe change some values. Over here, the shell is where we can interactively enter some commands and see immediately what the results are and see if something is working. For scripting, uh, if we find commands that are working, we can copy it over to the scripting tab and from there we can save into a file uh, a list of commands and we can read something we've done before. And whenever we want to execute a previously saved script, we use the execute tab right there. Okay, so uh, let's begin by looking at this scripting tab. Okay, right here. So in the scripting tab, we have uh, over here, uh, some example things. You can you can click on something in here, and uh, you can uh, append that, and you'd get some comments there uh, with the command, and you could put a value in there. And you can do that if you want, and you can play with things and see how they work. But these are just some examples in here. There's really a lot more that you can be doing with this. So I'm just going to delete all this. And for the most part, we're just going to use this for loading and saving scripts. Okay. Um, next we have, uh, let's come over to the uh, data tab right here. Okay, in the data tab, uh, we have uh, uh, this application. And under application, there's a lot of objects down here. And I'm going to point out just a couple of these. One of these is the uh, selected human. Okay, so there's some things about the active human. And uh, model camera is one that we can play with a lot. So let's play with that today. Uh, if you double click on something, you can see the current value for that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to uh, disappear there a little bit. Now, it's nice to have um, a goal, something we won't want to accomplish just as an exercise. So let's imagine that we have this character and uh, anytime we change the pose or the clothes, of course we're going to grab it and spin it around and see our wonderful creation. But imagine when we render it, we always want to look um, in, a, in a very particular way. So let's play with the camera and let's see if we can achieve that. Achieve that. So back here on data, uh, we could click on things and see the values, and one way to explore this would be to to change something around and um, come back over here and see what's changed. So one thing we would notice uh, that's changing is this horizontal, you can't even see it all here, uh, underscore horizontal rotation, and um, that changes. So let's see if we can change that over on the shell side. All right, now notice that this is all, uh, remember this was under application, and then model camera, and then horizontal rotation. Okay, so I'm going to come back in here. All right. So let's come back, let's go to shell now. And under shell, um, we, we can uh, enter some things here. So the application is going to ex uh, correspond to capital G dot app. And under that we had model camera and then underscore horizontal rotation. Okay, but we can't just enter the string in here, we got to do something. So really the only Python we need to know is the print command uh, for today anyway. And there's a value right there. Now, um, let's see if we can assign to that and what happens. If you 
got any pending changes, make sure you save them before you start messing with the stuff. So I'm going to take off this print here, go to the end, and let's, let's set that to zero. Okay, uh, nothing complained, so let's hope it worked. Looking back at her model, um, she's facing forward, and I'm going, to, I'm going to try again. I'm going to rotate her, come back to the shell, recall this with the up arrow, execute it, and you can see that we successfully um, rotated her there. Now, if we keep playing around with these on the on the data tab, uh, we'll find a few things in here like vertical inclination and zoom factor. To save a little bit of time, I'm going to come back to there. I am. I'm going to come back here here and um, go to uh, the scripting tab. Okay, and from here I'm going to load something previously that I set up for this. Okay, just to save a little bit of time here. Okay, so uh, we already came up with this command right here, and here's a couple others that we, you know, if we played with, we would discover um, that that uh, it worked to reset them. These down here, ignore these for now. These are commented out. So I'm going to execute, come in by to the execute tab here, and execute this, and you see um, it changed the image there. I'm going to zoom in and and scroll around, okay, and come back to execute. You see. It goes right back to the same spot. So that's basically that's basically it. There, we we uh, created a script, and uh, we could of course save this. And what we did is the reverse is we loaded it here. Now, uh, the only thing I'm going to leave with you here, uh, leave with you here, is that uh, it's good to know this isn't really the ideal way to do things. And the fact that the developer named these with an underscore is a clue that it wasn't really the intention to be setting these directly. Usually, it's better to call a function to set things. The function may be um, setting something else that may match, uh, maybe doing some uh, um, validity checking or something like that. But uh, I had to look in the code, of course, to see these things. I'm just telling you this because if you actually want to be doing this, go ahead and use these functions that are down here. Set horizontal rotation, set vertical inclination, and set zoom factor. And in a later video, uh, I'll explain how I went from one to the other. Okay, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. And a big thanks to all the developers of MakeHuman. I really love this software. Goodbye.